It's here guys, Starlink has finally launched in Zimbabwe and we have the map to confirm it. Now I thought I'll just give my initial impressions or initial update of the Starlink launch, right? Now the question on many Zimbabweans mind was always the cost of the kit. Since many prizes have been thrown around and you know the prizes they were charging on the black market for the Starlink kit, right? But just like I said, wait for the official launch. The prices currently on the Starlink website is $350 for the kit with the $50 subscription. And that is almost the same amount we are paying for the Econet Smart Bees at the moment. There's also the option for the Mini, which is going for $200 with a $30 subscription. Now the Starlink Mini offers lower download speeds, maxing out at 100 megabits per second. But it's still very fast. In the Zimbabwean setting, I foresee the Starlink Mini becoming very, very popular. The standard kit obviously promises speeds in excess of 200 megabits per second, FYI. Now the Starlink website is already open for pre-orders. That means if you order your Starlink kit today, it will ship in a week or two weeks time. Now talking about shipping, a $23 shipping fee will be levied for both kits. So in total, you need money for the kit, the subscription and shipping. Now the launch of Starlink ushers in a very interesting time for internet service provision in the country. When you look at companies like uh, Econet, already they've launched their Smart Bees, and maybe Tel One who are also launching their Blaze LTE. You can already see that they've geared up for competition. Now, you know, spare a thought for the smaller players. I'm thinking, you know, companies like Africom, Powertel. Yeah, if they don't pull their socks, I don't see them being able to survive because look at the offerings that even Starlink is offering right now. Um, let's look at the Starlink Mini. For $30, you are able to get speeds in excess of 100 megabits. Now, granted, there's the one terabyte fair use policy, just like the Smart Bees, but these are interesting times. So, uh, yeah, Starlink has finally launched, guys. What are your thoughts on the Starlink launch? Now, these are just initial thoughts. Uh, I would really want to see uh, the updates from Potras and uh, uh, from Starlink themselves and uh, maybe we'll give you more information regarding Starlink. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.